Can you speak some Tamil? Panakam, Nandri, kuch kuch hota hai. What's going on everybody? Welcome to a very special Malaysia episode of Fun Bros on the Street. We went around Kuala Lumpur asking young Malaysians all the questions. Everything ranging from what the biggest misconception about Malaysia is, what's the best thing about Malaysia, and some Malaysian slang. Let's find out what they said. Malaysia is a country and we're located in Southeast Asia. We, we get it all the time. Every time when I go to the States, people ask us like, where is Malaysia? What is Malaysia? We're that little country, that little strip between Thailand and Singapore. Yeah, that one, that little thing there. We're pretty much the thing that sticks out of Thailand. It's like a small yam, yam shape. Yam. Yam. Yeah, I would say it's a yam. <laughs> Malaysia is like, it's very hot for sure. When you talk about Malaysia, you talk about the food. We have like varieties of food due to like our multiracial country. From like Indian food to Malay food to Chinese food. Malaysia is the land where you can get everything. Food. Alright, if you miss American food in, in LA and you go to Malaysia, you can get American food. We got chilies, we got Fridays, we got Monday to Sunday. Because we are uh, broken down to three different ethnic races. So the Chinese, they have different dialects of like Cantonese, Mandarin, Hokkien. Malay, they speak Malay. Indians, they've got Tamil, Hindi. Mostly we speak Malay. Some of us speak English as well. Since we are a multilacial country, so we have Chinese, Indians and others as well. There's a lot of language, but mainly Malay. I speak Urdu, I speak Tamil, I speak English, I speak Malay, some Hokkien too. I speak Malay. I speak English. The first language is English actually. I can't really speak that well of Mandarin. I'm what you call a banana. It's like yellow on the outside, white on the inside. Oh. Can you tell me about Manglish? Manglish is basically <laughs> Malaysian English. It would involve things like adding la to the end of every sentence. It's like, where are you going today? Oh, I don't know la. Do you have any plans? I don't think so la. What's the difference between the Singapore la and the Malaysian la? It's kind of the same. We just... Who started the la and la? No, I think it's both countries. Manglish is when you speak like that law. It is when you mix a bit of Chinese, Malay, Indian into English and then you speak like that law. This is Manglish law. <laughs> there is a meme online that basically shows you how to use all five languages, uh, Malaysian languages, in just one sentence. It's like, hey, bro, tapau satu kopi ping satu bang ane, thank you. What are some popular Malaysian dishes and who invented them? Definitely nasi lemak, because cultural Malay actually created nasi lemak. That's why it's also named as nasi lemak. It's kind of called like fatty rice, because it's so hearty that you eat it, you feel like, oh, it's full. Nasi lemak all the way. <laughs> nasi lemak, and my personal favorite is asam laksa. Nasi lemak, sate, sate is the best. Of lontong, it's like, uh, it's like sort of like soup kind of thing. Roti canai, because you know why? Roti canai comes in all forms. You got roti banana, which is like bread, bread with banana. You got roti pisang. You got roti bawang, you got roti telo, you can put eggs, you can put onions, you can put whatever. We've got satay, we've got ketupat, we've got lemang, we've got roti canai. Oh, number one, baku teh. That is the best of the best of the best because it's a pork with a soup. Oh, how yum. How yum. Oh, how sick. <laughs> we have like chicken rice by the Chinese, we've got cha kway teow by the Chinese as well. Malaysia is a food paradise. What about the pricing? It's damn cheap. It's very, very damn cheap. Are you from America? It's like when you come here, you're going to be like billionaire. I'm a millionaire here. Of course, like, you know, if you come to Malaysia and you go to a fast food outlet, you should be kicked out of the country. First most basic Malaysian slang that I gotta know. Bocho. It means that you did not invite me. Say we're hanging out in a group and you realize that you're not invited, then you can go up to that person and like, hey, Bocho. Was there any Manglish words that you picked up already in the past two days? La. I heard a lot of la. I don't know what that means actually, but la. <laughs> Alright, we, we use a lot of la, ma. Uh, we have formerly slang. We call our friends member. Member. But I'm from Penang, so may usually Penang will say, Hang buat apa? Tengah buat apa? I try to say it. Hang tengah buat apa? Hang tang guang. <laughs> if in Negeri Sembilan, we will say, Moh, moh, moh le, moh le. Moh, moh, moh le, moh le. Oh, shit, that mohle. sounds kind of cool. Moh, moh, moh le, moh le. Another one would be like, you know, like if you're gonna speak Malay, when you see a girl, a hot girl on the side, that yo! Kebab, babe. Hey, girl, how you doing? Hey, babe. What are some Malaysian stereotypes? That the fact that we still live on trees and we don't. We live in nice building now. Do people live in trees? No, no, they don't. They live in houses. It's a very backwards country. We still live on trees. Um, I, I got this shirt by chance. 
uh, thankfully a foreigner gave it to me. If not, we are still wearing leaves to cover our pride parts. <laughs> they can't tell apart, they can't tell about whether we are Malaysian or we are Vietnamese or anything. Because we are just Asian. Yeah. One stereotype that they had was that if you're from Malaysia, you have to be Malay, which is actually kind of false because we are a multiracial country. So we're Malaysians, but we're of Chinese descent. Most of all, they always come up to, uh, they'll see us walking around and ni hao, and then they're like, oh, I'm not Chinese, I'm, I'm Malaysian. Oh, but you're Chinese, right? Yeah, I'm Chinese, but I'm Malaysian. People always thought that Malaysia is not safe and very dirty, but no, it's actually quite safe, I would say. It just depends on which part of Malaysia you go to. We are not very, very dirty. Right? We're quite clean, I would say, compared to some other country. We actually consider it as a very clean country. Right? Basically, a lot of people think that Malaysians can't speak English, number one. Malaysia is like, you know, a third world country. We're not. And number three, uh, Malaysia, are you guys from China? No! <laughs> What is the deal with the rivalry between Singapore and Malaysia? Well, how do you feel about it? Is there a rivalry? We're like best friends. <laughs> Malaysia's food is the best. I mean, Singapore, now, like Malaysia. <laughs> it's, it's been going on from way back, but I think things are getting better. There was even a plan of uh, building like a bullet train in between Singapore and Malaysia as well. Yeah. But did they drop that project? <laughs> what do you think is a cooler language, Manglish or Singlish? Manglish, of course. <laughs> they keep trying to say that Malaysian food originates from Singapore, but that's not true. Try. I like you, Singapore. I'm sorry, but Malaysia is better. <laughs> you know, both countries got food. I believe that there's some things that you get better in Singapore, and there's some things that you get better in Malaysia. I gotta put this: that chili crab, Singapore. All right, chicken rice. I don't know why Singaporeans are saying that they got the best chicken rice, but hey, have you tasted our chicken rice? What do you want people to know about Malaysia and why should they come to Malaysia? We've got the beaches. <laughs> no, as in the beach. We've got a good balance between the city life and you get to go to the beach, go to the island. Why? Number one, the food. Number two, the hospitality. I want to know that Malaysia is a, a very beautiful country. We are a one team country. We all love everyone. We don't have four weathers, we just have um, mostly sunny days, sunny days. Mostly sweaty days. Sweaty days. <laughs> we have the sights, the sounds, the smells, and most importantly, we have the taste. And the people are wonderful. Do you work for the Tourism Bureau? All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching the international episode of Fun Rolls on the Street Malaysia. One of my major takeaways is that the biggest misconception about Malaysia is that they still live in trees, which is absolutely not true. There's a ton of tall buildings, and we're actually inside of one right now. Another takeaway is that Malaysia is an extremely diverse society, but everyone can agree that the food's a lot better than Singapore. So in the comments below, please let us know what you learned from the video and also what the biggest misconception of Malaysia is, in your opinion. Until next time, we're out. Peace. Peace.